Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful city of Cairns in Queensland, in beautiful and exotic Australia. And I had a very tiring but very highly rewarding and wonderful day. Today I finally got a chance to spend time at the Great Barrier Reef. Now it was in the back of my mind for the last 25 years to get to Australia and to get to the Great Barrier Reef, one of the world's most famous natural wonders and I have finally done it. Now this natural wonder stretches for 2,000 kilometers along the coast of Queensland and if you put all the reefs together they occupy 348,000 uh, square kilometers uh, larger than the space that the island of Great Britain would occupy. Now there are two videos that I have created for you. One deals with the trip, the boat trip all the way out to the reefs and the trip back and this is the one you're going to see now. The second video that we'll publish a little later will deal with the underwater filming and videos that I took today and I hope they come out to be nice. So enjoy what's coming up. This is Vic. I have finally made it to the Great Barrier Reef. It was a fantastic day. I'm very proud of it and I want to share this experience with you. Enjoy what's coming up. This is my trip to the Great Barrier Reef. By the way, if you ever get here, make sure you go all the way out to the Outer Barrier Reef. Do not go very close to the coast. What you see here uh, has taken place over 60 kilometers away from the coast of Cairns or 40 miles because the farther out that you go, the better the reefs are, the better the views and the more exciting the trip. This is Vic and Joe is coming up. Bye bye. Okay, so here is my boat down under right there it's pretty big and you can see the activity around the uh, the harbor here very very busy with boats leaving constantly and it's still very early in the morning so here it is let's go upstairs and get a seat Are you sure you're not going to jump on anybody's head then one giant leap into the shark infested great barrier reef okay is James. He's going to talk to you about what he does today. Yeah, James! Oh, thanks guys. You're so... You're, you're great crowd. I love your work. Guys, I take care of the helicopters today. Show of hands. Anyone on the helicopter? Start to make our way to our second reef location, North Hastings. Now it only takes about 15 minutes to get to North Hastings and once we're there we will be there for about two hours. So again, plenty of time for your in-water activities. Now that's about it for me guys if anybody still has any forms in your pockets in your bags on the tables we do
Okay, we have arrived at the first reef. You see the other boats down there. How beautiful the water is. Beautiful. Crystal clear. Here's another view. Here's another boat. Okay, everybody's getting ready. I'm gonna go get my uh, stuff and the next views that you will see will be from under the water right there. Let's go. Okay, I just uh, completed an hour and a half. Incredibly enough, the time just flew by. Snorkeling around this area, you can see another boat very close to us and you can see the last people from our boat coming on board right there. In a very, very distance, about 60 kilometers away is Kearns. You can see how beautiful the water is, how clear it is. Now the depth here varies, you can uh, see the reef in about one meter and then it goes as deep as probably five to six meters. Let's go towards the back of the boat so you can get a better view of the reef area. You can see how beautiful everything is from back here as well. You can see there's nobody in there swimming right now. Everybody's having lunch downstairs. And I hope the camera can pick up the areas right there of clear water. And all the way down there, 60 kilometers away, is the city of Cairns. What a view. What an incredible view. The weather is absolutely perfect. I would say it's about 32 degrees Celsius for my American friends in the high 80s. No wind, no waves, ideal for scuba diving and for snorkeling. Beautiful. And uh, here's the uh, second place that we stopped at the uh, Great Barrier Reef. You can see there, that's a uh, submarine ride that you can select to take. And over there, you can see a platform 
with a helicopter for a helicopter ride. Now let's go to the corner of the boat here, you'll see something absolutely remarkable and beautiful. Now you can very clearly see the reef right there, which is only about a meter below the surface of the water. And when the sun comes out, you can even get a better view of it. Okay, the sun is coming out and I think you can see the reef right there. Just about a meter below the surface of the water. You can see right there in the center of the frame. I'm sure the camera will pick up the, uh, the difference. You can see the deep water right here. Hey, that's the reef right there. Let's go a little closer. Right there. This is an absolutely fantastic part of the Great Barrier Reef. It's only about a meter again below the surface of the water. Plenty of wildlife. Incredible amounts of fish and different species. Now where the boat is uh, parked now, it's about 10 meters of depth. So in between the uh, big chunks of the reef, there is deep water. So you see how beautiful the uh, barrier reef is over here and how shallow it is at this point where we are. The problem is, despite all the efforts from the crew, some of the people stand on the reef and the crew has to whistle and get them off the reef all the time. And it makes me wonder why bring people here to begin with. I mean, this is a beautiful reef, quite obviously very, very shallow. It stands at about one meter under the surface of the water and uh, I can guarantee you it gets damaged from the fins from uh, people swimming around them and uh, some people standing on them. I've seen three or four people do that the last half hour. Now the reason I'm on the boat and not in the water is because uh, I had an underwater camera with eight gigabytes of space which uh, was used up in about 25 minutes of uh, videotaping. So I hope I get at least five minutes of great uh, video clips I can show them to you in a different video. But uh, it ate up eight gigabytes of space in less than 25 minutes. I hope I get some good shots out of this. So I came back to the boat, got a cup of coffee, and I'm videotaping these clips for you now. Here's my uh, glass of wine. Everybody gets a glass of wine on their way back. Oh, my God, I didn't see you. 
attack a deeper blue I could not foresee these things happening to you And uh, this is the end of the trip. We just arrived back. You can see everybody getting off the boat. What a wonderful, what a fa fantastic day this was. Exhausting, but really well worth the effort, the time and the money. And what really made a big difference was this boat here, the crew, the program, the food, everything. This is Vic. Thank you for viewing my videos. Bye bye.